workers are getting back to work today after Congress agreed to a temporary spending bill, which ended a three-day government shutdown. But as CBS4's Mola Lenghi reports, the problems that sparked the shutdown in the first place still remain, including the fate of hundreds of thousands so-called dreamers. On this vote, the yeas are 266 and the nays are 150. The government is back up and running today after Congress passed a spending bill Monday and President Trump signed it into law. I know there's great relief that this episode is coming to an end. Four congressional leaders now have 16 working days to craft a bill that can pair protection for dreamers brought to the country illegally as children with more border security. I pray that neither I nor the Congress will be in this same position come February 8th. With a pointless, damaging, partisan theatrics of this government shutdown behind us, serious and bipartisan negotiations can resume. The only concession Democrats achieved with the shutdown was a promise for a debate in the Senate on a bill to protect the DACA recipients. Our side of the aisle will continue to fight as strongly as we can for the dreamers in the weeks ahead. But just debating a bill hardly guarantees it'll pass. Dreamers! Now! And immigration groups say they feel abandoned by the compromise. The time to act was now, and I feel like they lost that chance. President Trump tweeted, big win for Republicans as Democrats cave on shutdown. See you at the negotiating table. Mola Lange, CBS News, Capitol Hill. Now, the White House says the president wants to protect the dreamers, but he's also pushing for other demands, such as an end to family migration. Now, we learned today that Attorney General Jeff Sessions was questioned in the investigation by special counsel Robert Mueller. The interview was conducted last week. Mueller has been investigating Russia's meddling into the 2016 president election, as well as whether the president obstructed justice since taking office. Sessions recused himself from all matters relating to Russia last March. Meantime, Sessions promises to leave no stone unturned to find missing text messages tied to the Russia investigation. Republicans in Congress are asking why hundreds of messages between two FBI agents are missing. They exchange messages frequently discussing the Hillary Clinton investigation as well as their dislike of then-candidate Donald Trump. The FBI blames software and technical issues. One of the agents was also a part of special counsel Mueller's team until his anti-Trump texts were discussed.